I've been talking for years on QReader and login sites being used as a means of collecting and triangulating with logs from security devices but not from an IoT, not from getting data from operating systems and devices to see availability, performance and things like that, IT ops that is. Let me go into my dashboard here as a login site and go into this view in here. The searches are being running and these things are being populated as we speak and we can see here from Linux and Red Hat systems uh, different aspects of performance. So the DNS, NTP servers, right? And here are all the device, all the uh, operating systems converging. We can go into an individual one. Let me click in here. Again, the, the search are being conducted and the graphs are being populated. We can see that here we uh, we can see performance uh, indicators like CPU, memory usage. Okay, what is it that I'm doing in here? I/O. This is not traditional curator. Well, it is curator, but the whole thing about this is to open your eyes into the possibility of using, particularly login sites, with this massive capability of being a data lake where you can, you know, put a lot of. Uh, operating system messages, more on that later, and to have m uh, the dashboard to, monitoring, to monitor those systems. This is all based on a blog entry that Christian Rubalcaba posted a while back. Here is showing IT operating metrics suite. Now, uh, I'll, I will put a link to both. I'm going to refer to another blogs in my video description. And I will also, as usual, put a link to the box folder where all the artifacts for building this are being placed. Now, in this blog, Christian goes to a great level of detail explaining how to do dashboarding in login sites, very similar to what Pulse is in Curator. Uh, you don't have to do this because in the video description of all of my videos there is a link to a public box folder. This is it. And in there there is a, a Christian folder. And when you go in it and you go into this uh, IT Ops QLive soft folder, you're going to find the JSON files and I have shown in previous videos how you can import in login site and in QReader and get those graphics in there. And this this uh, shell script that I will be talking about uh, later. But nevertheless, Christian goes into a great detail not only to explain how he built those dashboards, but also on the details of the KQL searches that are in here. And this is kind of cool because the power of log inside is that in the, and because it leverages on the power and the performance of QLI, there's no need for creating custom properties and parsers and anything like that to create these graphs. He is doing so on the actual language when, when he's doing these extracts. It's kind of a, the same thing. It's kind of a parsing the, the, the messages by, by doing the regex extraction for it. So he goes into great detail and explain how all those searches part of the dashboard uh, work again you can use it to learn about them but you don't have to uh, redo this because those JSON files are provided for you so again a lot of explanations in there now there's another component in it and that is better explained on the first blog that Christian did about again I'll put a link to it before and this is doing IT ops with standard curator, right? And um, what I'm mentioning this, well, because here is where he published that uh, shell script that he, you can put into the uh, Unix system and using Logger, and you can use cron to schedule this to periodically send that telemetry about the operating system and its components into 
login site or curator for that matter right and this is the other shell script that is in in the Christian uh, folder in there right and to contrast how he does this in standard curator versus QLI you see that in the curator one you need to create the, the, the log source type, the event ID, you know, all those steps that with QLI you don't have to because again the power of KQL, the performance of uh, ClickHouse running uh, natively in, uh, in the QLI environment. Again, I, this is a very interesting post by Christian links you know, in the video description to all this and I hope that uh, this opens your mind about the possibility of using Curator as a very inexpensive way of collecting telemetry with multitude of systems and with a great deal of simplicity.